right, we've got a new guitar on the workbench. Well, it's called a Crafter. Wouldn't call it a new guitar. I'm not sure what year it is. Made in, is that Korea? It's an acoustic. Same with got electrics. Means it must have a piezo or a bridge pickup. Uh, I'm just looking at it the same as you. There's a little bit of damage there to the, the work. Uh, I'm looking at it. There's a little bit of something there which I'm going to look at. The bodywork looks fine. It's a satin. The neck, the chappy started to do a refret of it, but uh, for some reason he gave up halfway through it. I think he thought he was doing a bad job. Nice looking piece of wood. But looking at it, Roughly, I'm only looking at it now. The, the the frets need to be smoothed. The day, oh, very sharp there. Obviously, stopped there. And the fretboard itself. I did say to him this more this afternoon that, that perhaps he shouldn't have used glue, but I don't know what state the fretboard was in before he did it. But uh, the way I would do it would would be bend the frets to the right angle, put them in. And if they sat up a bit, then you put a little drop of CA glue where they sit up and then fret level them. But I have to work on that. I don't have any spare fretting material, so I might do something down here to make this look prettier without frets, right? I don't know what the electrics are like. I'm not going to plug it in yet because it didn't come with strings. Bridge looks fine. Body doesn't look to be lifted. But I'll do a full uh, autopsy on it when I get it get my other camera up and running and I start to look at the details. Clever little tuners. They feel firm enough. They feel like nice little decent tuners. Don't know what make they are, you know, but they're Korean. Back of the neck looks lovely. No sign of a, well there's a little bit of something there and a little bit of something there. But there's no sign of damage. The neck actually feels very nice. The back is a beautiful piece of maybe laminate wood, I'm not sure, with a stripe down the middle. A couple of little dings and such as such. The sides, let's have a look at the sides. Nothing that you could say is out of ordinary. A little scratch there. And we have to check the electrics, of course. And this side. Uh, we'll check all that. That looks all right. Some little bits of damage to the uh, ribbing there. And electrics, as I say, don't know. But it's overall, it's in pretty good condition. So I wouldn't complain about it here. And there's no bow in the neck that I can see. So what the next thing I'll do is I'll put up the other camera. And I'll go through it with all the tools just to check what else we might have. But a lot of it all depends on the truss rod. The faithful old truss rod. Uh, I thin there. I think it should be okay. But if the truss rod doesn't work and the neck's bent or something like that, then, then it's a wall hanging. But we'll have a look in the next video. Well, there we go. Strings on. Frets all polished. Nice and set up. Pins on. Except for one little thing. A brand new nut at the top which you could get a car through and also a height there that you could get your granny through and a brand new bridge. Obviously the chappy who was doing the frets and gave up had stuck a brand new bridge in and a brand new nut in but they're not set so there was I thinking the guitar was ready to rock and roll but now I just have to shave the bridge and shave the nut and file the nut down. No big deal, no big deal. Just, what do you think of those frets? Those end frets look great, don't they? Everything looks a little bit more yellow in this. It's not quite as yellow as what the camera's putting it. But uh, I can't even tell if it's gonna play now because you could get your finger underneath there because it's so high, I can't play it. So as soon as I get the bridge done, and the neck done, not done, I'll come back to you. Boy! I'm sniffing again. Well, I'm going to do one fret on the camera.
to let you see. This is the guitar that was refretted. I think it was all. No, I, well, I got a feeling now looking at it, it's been partially refretted. Because I can see. Well, maybe I can't see straight. Maybe it's completely refretted. But it's got a lot of glue. I've taken some off already, but I'm just going to get it down to the smooth using an ordinary blade like that. Just to get down to the smooth. I may have to take off a little bit more than I like to do on these things because there's a lot of glue we used. Just try to get it past the glue things. I'm sniffing and I'm sniffing and I'm sniffing. And it's a warmer day today, so one assumes I have a little nasal infection. But you can't get a virus through the camera lens, I don't believe. Although some of these Hollywood actors, you'd think they've all got a virus. They're all as dopey as a dopey thing can be. Funny when they become actors and actresses and popular, they all become preachers as well. Look at me, I'm Sandra D. This is how you should live your lives whilst we live in our little bubble here in Hollywood or in London, the little bubble in London of actors as well. They think they're, they're so superior to us because they pretend all day and lie all day and make money at it. Well, I suppose politicians do that too, well, most of them. And I do know a couple of politicians that are very honest. Right. I think that I don't want to take all I'm doing is working on this one I'm not working on this side of it yet I'm just trying to get the I might actually have to take some sandpaper to that just to get that better uh, yeah I'm going to take a little bit of work let's, let's just brush it off and just do one fret at a time I'm going, to, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the fret before I work even more on the fretboard because the fretboard itself has got some scars left and right. And if I do work on the fret with my little handy file, it's going to make the scars on the fretboard worse if I don't cover it up. So let's just see if I can get them round. No doubt you've seen this kind of file before. It's got a flat edge there so it doesn't damage the fretboard. Three triangles and it's very good for shaping and smoothing off the ends of frets. Breathing heavy. Let me just check the end of that fret. I don't know, I'm not quite sure that the quality of the wire on this is that good. Very soft. Right, I get some sandpaper. What do we got here? Hello sandpaper, where are you? So, got some 600 sandpaper here. Give it a little bit of a, a polish with the 600. fine and feeling fine and then I'll use the 2000 2000 just to give it an even better polish and shine Let's see how that does if it doesn't do well then I might use some high polish paste on it but it looks like it's gonna do okay now I would say that that fret is done did it well, 
we'll have to see later on because we need to do the frets and then check them for leveling even though it's a reverse way of doing it because the other frets are in such a mess that they need to be polished and that looks pretty good I might even use some 2000 on each side of the fretboard just to get those lines out of it where the glue was mind you it won't affect the playing whatsoever if those little lines stay on it but it had to be dug deep to get the, the U600 I had to work hard to get the uh, glue off where's the 600 So there's a little bit of lines there. Okay. I would never normally do this on a guitar. I never go across the grain. But because those lines are so fierce, I'm going to have to. And then I'll go with the grain when the lines are gone. the 2000 to go with the grain. Okay, I won't notice it too much. Let's just see. Now there's a little bit of a... What's that? What have I spotted here? A little bit of a hole there. There must have been a chip taken off. better looking. I'm not going to do this with all the frets on the camera because you'd be bored to tears if you're not already bored to tears. I'm bored to tears and I'm not even watching the video. Right okay so that has to be done but you see there's a little hole in there. Anyway that'll be patched later on. What I will do because this is a this is screaming out for some water, <laughs> not water, uh, lemon oil. It just soak in the lemon oil. I'm only going to do it around that fret, but look at how dry that fretboard is. It's ready to crumble. It, it, that's one of the problems with letting your fret not get oiled at least once a year. Well, Maybe not, it depends on how much you play it, but not more than twice if twice a year, I would say. Bit of tissue, stop sniffing. Austin the sniffer. There you go. That's the way it will look. I might actually just polish the frets a bit. That's the way it will look when it's finished. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. This is our crafter guitar. Nicely set up now. All the frets been rescued, I would say, rescued. Let me just check the, t t the tuning. It's a far nicer sounding guitar than I thought it would be. Listen. Let's, let's have you listen to the electrics. Oh, feedback time. This is the electrics now. 
very strong electric. Everything working. Even got a phaser. What I do? I had to lower the nut. I had to clean up the frets, which were a disaster, but they were a disaster that could be fixed. I had to shave a little bit off each side, unfortunately, to get the nuts, to get the frets cleaned up and tidied. But now you don't slice your hand open on them. Uh, a little bit of super glue everywhere on it. You've probably seen from the original. I had to put in pretend fonts, pretend frets. Those are empty frets. The chappy will never be up there so I didn't feel it was needed and actually I didn't have any fret material to do that. The bridge is extremely high so what I had to do, I had to replace the bridge with something that's almost, well actually I would say it's almost too low but it works. tuned again. There were no pegs with it so I'm only lending him those pegs or if he can replace them for me that'd be great because they belong to another guitar. Let me just check the tuning there that sounded awful. No? Yeah? Surprisingly, after me just doing that brand new strings and still in tune. Well. to me. Sounds pretty good to me. This so goodbye little guitar. I hope I'll never see you again, but you never know. Bye bye.